with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Even with tons of sunshine today, high temperatures were only in the mid 60s to lower 70s, about 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. And that overall cooler weather is going to be sticking around. Our normal high is 77 tomorrow, right around 70, 71 on Saturday. We'll see 70 on Sunday and Monday, lower 70s on Tuesday. Finally, on Wednesday, temperatures will get close to normal or slightly above with highs in the upper 70s. Right now, only one spot is sitting in the 70s and just barely. That's Wapaka, where it's currently 70 degrees. We've got 66 in Oshkosh, it's 66 in Appleton, and it's only 65 degrees in Oconto. In Green Bay, with mostly sunny skies, the temperature is 68 degrees and the winds are calm. And yes, we've got a lot of sunshine, but there is some high level smoke moving through as well. And you'll notice that this evening with a beautiful sunset. High pressure in control of our weather today. We had a few clouds and rain showers this morning, but lots of sunshine since daybreak. And high pressure will be our main weather maker throughout the night and into tomorrow. And it's a Canadian area of high pressure with a real taste of fall across the upper Midwest. High temperatures today, once again, running about 10 degrees below normal for mid to late August. 61 in Marquette. In Green Bay, the high temperature was only 68 degrees. And after a cool day, we can expect another chilly night. Take a look at what we have here across northern Wisconsin and the UP. We've got frost advisories here just to the north and west of the NBC 26 viewing area. It looks like we're going to have a repeat performance of what we saw last night. Paulding, Michigan got down to 33 degrees this morning in Lando Lakes. The morning low temperature was 34 degrees and that colder weather is going to be there once again and actually shift a little bit farther south. So even though we don't have frost advisories in place, I'm thinking the colder spots north and west of the Fox Valley will see some patchy frost with lows dipping into the mid and upper 30s. Most of us will see low to mid 40s, but right near Lake Winnebago, the Bay and Lake Michigan, temperatures will be in the lower 50s. And although 40s do sign kind of chilly for August, they're actually quite common. Last August, our low temperature was 50. But if you look back at previous Augusts, our low temperatures were in the 40s. The all time record low for the month of August is 38 degrees. After a chilly morning, we'll see lots of sunshine as we move through the afternoon. High temperatures once again, mainly in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Mostly clear skies tomorrow night and then our next weather maker approaches throughout the day on Saturday with thickening clouds and the chance for a few showers as we move into the late afternoon and early evening. So tonight look for clear skies. I'm forecasting a low of 44. The record low is 40. I think it's safe tomorrow. We'll see Lots of sunshine mixing with some fair weather cumulus clouds. Once again, probably some high level smoke as well. It's going to feel like September with high temps only around 70 on Saturday. Thickening clouds throughout the day. A chance for a couple of showers as we move into the evening. 71 on and off showers and maybe a thunderstorm on Sunday. I'm forecasting 70 if we don't have any sunshine at all. Highs will only be in the 60s on Monday. Close to 70 a chance for a few lingering showers, maybe a thunderstorm. And we're going to keep that chance for an isolated shower or storm in the forecast as we move through next week with temperatures gradually warming up 78 on Wednesday, mid 70s on Thursday for the final Packers preseason game at Lambeau. All right, some people might need to change their plans if they're going outdoors this weekend. Yeah, and if, to, if you know tonight, maybe an extra blanket on the bed or you're going to be shutting those windows early in the morning. <laughs> that too. Thanks so much for Cameron. Yep. All right, well, coming up, some Sheboygan County residents